Hi everyone, this is Governor Gretchen Whitmer. With Thanksgiving around the corner, and as COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations continue to skyrocket in our state, I wanted to take a moment to urge Michiganders everywhere to do their part to protect our families, our frontline workers, and our small businesses. And I wanted to take a moment to share what I am thankful for this year. Our frontline workers in our hospitals, in our child care centers, in our grocery stores, and more. I'm thankful for my family here at home and across the country, my dogs, Kevin and Doug. And I'm thankful that no matter how hard this pandemic gets, I can always find small moments of joy, even if it's as simple as cracking a Verner's and watching the great British baking show with my husband. As the weather grows colder, we must continue to listen to medical experts and join forces to fight COVID-19. We beat this virus in the spring by listening to the public health experts, and we can beat it again. Last week, our state health department director issued an epidemic order that limits indoor gatherings where COVID-19 can easily spread from person to person. These steps are what the public health experts say we need to take to avoid overwhelmed hospitals and death counts like we saw in the spring. Doing this will protect the medical workers, first responders, and other essential workers on the front lines. We all have a personal responsibility to follow these laws and to do everything we can to protect one another. If you are planning to spend Thanksgiving with people outside of your own household, I urge you to reconsider. This year, I'm gonna host a Zoom call with my family so we can still talk about the things we are thankful for in lieu of hosting an in-person dinner like I usually do. Think about your last Thanksgiving and the people with whom you spent it, your parents, grandparents, brothers and sisters, your neighbors and friends, or the family you have chosen for yourself. Picture their faces, laughing with you, cheering on the lions with you, hugging you, or even arguing with you about politics. As hard as it will be not to see them in person this Thanksgiving, imagine how much harder it would be if their chairs are empty next year. We must make short-term sacrifices for our long-term health. None of us wants the guilt of gathering and unwittingly spreading this virus to someone we love. As you consider your options for Thursday, I urge you to make the hard choices because they will ultimately be the right choices. I know 2020 has been tough and we're all exhausted from fighting this virus but we cannot let up for one second now. No matter who you are, whether you live in a dynamic city like Detroit or a quaint town like Claire, whether you're a Biden Democrat or a Trump Republican, whether you're young or old, you have a role in this fight. Do it for yourself or your family or to help the small business owner who desperately wants to keep their doors open this season. I believe in you. I know it is possible. I implore you to rise to this challenge. Let's get it done again. Happy Thanksgiving.